Yeah, man. Tanakh only sessions. Wakandra. I don't desire to be anyone's kind. I desire to be Khan of Hawaii. We should all desire to be Khans of Hawaii, priest of Hawaii, because we KTC. I don't need to be Khan of your tribe. I got my own. And we KTC. You got a family, you are a Khan. You are a chief, you are a Khan. You lead them in the priestly direction. That is a true Khan in your house. You're building your house, you got a group of Nagas. You're building, you're tribing up with. Then you are Khans. You are priest unto each other because you are a priest of Hawa. It's not about waiting for you know, Hawa to appoint Levites. It's about being in code to where, you know, you all walk in that frequency. You all walk in that Levitical flow with the Leviticus, you know, diet, Leviticus code, my naga. And you got your Levi. He you got your Levite there. You popping off. So I don't gotta be your kind, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm Hawaii's kind. And you focus on being a kind for Hawaii. 
It's not about the people, you know. Those that, you know, want to follow in a way, you know, then you can lead by example. And that's being a leader, you know. A why is our frame and our shaper. Ultimately, that is our source. Ultimately, that is the Khan of Khans, King of Kings, Queen of Queens, Amahaba, Queen of Queens, King of Kings. And you're here in that image. You're creating that image. So you too are a leader. You too are a king. You too are a queen unto the people. They should be following you. It doesn't mean that they're followers. You know, <laughs> they're following you because you lead by example. You have a house. Your house is following you. Your children are following you. It doesn't mean that there's no creator. <laughs> It means that you are leading by example in the ways of Hawa, in the ways of our creator, the KTC. They are following your leadership. We all should be leading leaders in our house, leading in our communities. That's what Drop Nation is. We are leaders. So, you know, don't be afraid of the term leader. Don't be afraid of the term follower. It depends on what you're following. If you're KTC, and you're popping off, man, I'm following your example. We, we all should. You know, if you're a boxer and I want to learn how to throw a one-two, I have to follow your example. I have to let you take the wheel. If you know how to build a fence, shout out my knock Coach Clay, <laughs> then I'm going to follow your leadership. And he's a great leader. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we should all be leaders. We should all be cons of Hawaii and Learn when to follow. Learn when to lead. And, you know, that's your order. That's your structure. No one has to implement that on you. <laughs> A lot of my noggers want to follow whatever hijack example they got of leadership and order and structure. And they're still not structured within themselves. When you are in the flow, no one has to tell you you know, in any situation, who got the drop. It's not a competition of who got the drop. It's about being aware that you are following an example. That example got you here. You know, in my tribe, we KTC. When it comes to our flow, when it comes to drop, you know, I do my best as a leader to not, you know, implement some type of uh, unnecessary structure on your head ball, but to continue to implement the structure of Hawa within your heart ball. And with that structure, you are framed and shaped. No one has to tell you where to fall in. You fall in where you're supposed to fall in, my nugget, because that's what you're here for. You're not competing for leadership. You are leading by example. You're in somebody's house, then you give them respect. You give them honor because you're in their house. You didn't build that house, my nigga. Someone built that house for you to walk in to talk about tribe tribe. You're walking in the joy world. Someone built that house. It's someone's vision. You're in someone's order. You're in someone's structure. And that someone better be KTC. Or else it's all for nothing. Now we're talking about underwater lakes again. So I don't have to be your leader, but I do lead by example to the best of my ability. As I pop off, we pop off. And I got a strong wall of protection of ox and aqua that don't desire, you know, uh, no titles, that don't desire, you know, nothing more structured than the structure that Hawaii has within us already. You belong to this club and that club, and they got presidents and vice presidents and chiefs of this and officers you need all that structure <laughs> you need to work on your structure we tribe up as ox and aquas you ain't coming around us saying oh that's the chief of that and that's the leader of this you know who's leading this and you know when to follow that and you know when to lead that I mean it's a flow that we got 
I ain't got to be chief over nobody. I ain't got to be kind over nobody. I could be your op, and we could leave it right there. But if I am your chief, and if I am your kind, then that's the frequency you come in. Order over chaos. And you're going to know a tree by its fruit, right? Hey, we drop nation. M-H-O-E. Y'all still got that mem sauce flowing out there, man? Hey, Shabbat Shalom to my code keepers. You know, um, my code keepers are patient. They see the vision. They see the 360 dragonfly. They're not confused in the fourth quarter. They're giving everything they can, you know. It's not about being available, you know, so much, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, be there physically building our fence and joy world or yada yada, but your your presence is here because I can feel you in the ether, I can feel you listening, I can feel you sharing, I can feel you, you know, continuing to spiral up within your own code, within yourself. I can see you overcoming, pulling yourself up, my nugget, and showing us how it's done, giving us an example to follow because it's all good to be a follower depending on what you're following, who you're following. And if that's something for you to search out, then search it out again. I ain't got to be your kind. Maybe you could fall back and witness. I'm cool with that. No one asked for this. <laughs> when I share my testimony, when we talk, eh, all that happened between that, all that happened between, you know, any of the testimonies I'm sharing, you know, got me to this point, which got us to this point. And with my tribe tribe, <laughs> we popping off, man. When it comes to structure, they visualize it. <laughs> they see where they fit in at. They, they see how they can add to it. They're not asking to emulate no hijack organizations. It's a lot of organizations that look good. They look the part. They got you feeling tribe, tribe. They got you feeling tribe, tribe. But do they got the code? Do they got the Shabbat, my nigga? Or are you popping off on Shabbat? The fourth quarter. Subnaga still in the first quarter. Subnaga still don't know what a Shabbat is, what a Shabbat means to be in complete rest to the best of your ability. But if you popping off on Shabbat in the fourth quarter, talking about try, try, Managa, you confused. Ain't nothing worse than a confused con. You should be fighting tooth and nail with all your heart for your zine, for your complete rest. Not making excuses. Oh, wow, I'm going to do my Shabbat like this. I'm going to go after my own pleasure. I'm going to pop off. I'm going to travel on my Shabbat. I'm going to go see the homies on my Shabbat. Oh, they talking tribing up over there. We're going to tribe up with them. We're all going to create an event, an event that takes work. An event that takes effort. How much is the creator involved? Or are you so focused on your tribe tribe that you out of code? Managa, that's what got us here. <laughs> we, we, we so focused on looking the part that we lost a big part of ourselves. Oh, it looked good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this on the Shabbat. It looks good. But is it the real thing? It looks like structure, 
but is it these trucks? It looks wavy, but is it the way? Is it that ma'am sauce? We got Nagas. Still worshiping idols. Looking the part. Oh, look at them, man. They, they look the part. They look like Israelites. They look like Indians. Look at them. Look at their Indian garb. Look at their Indian paperwork. Look at their Indian certificates. Look at their Indian patches with their Indian fringes. Look at their Indian food. But let's pop all that off on the Shabbat. Damn. Now, Managa, if you in a, you know, a beautiful Ibaru village, you know, you if you enjoy world, and we got a bunch of families on the land, and we are all on our land. Right, and we got a fire pit, and we got music bumping, and we just enjoying the Shabbat. That's one thing. <laughs> if you're popping off an event, or popping off for an event, that's a whole nother thing. You're not on your land. You're not gathering with the families around you. And I know that we've been separated, and I know we desire to pop off with, you know, tribe, tribe. But Managi, this is part of the punishment. The fact that your land is gone, the fact that you can't walk out your door in most places and just be in Shabbat mode with all your neighbors because they on some other thing, that's a part of the curse of Deuteronomy 28. That's a part of the punishment. But getting out of that curse... <laughs> You can't continue not to keep the code. You got to show Hawa you ready to get off punishment. You got to show Hawa you ready to be a part of the Baruch. You still conflicted on how to keep your Shabbat? Because your desire to tribe, tribe, tribe is greater than the complete Zan, Zan, Zan that you're supposed to be having. So you'll sacrifice your rest just to tribe, tribe, tribe. And that is what got us here by now. Putting the tribe before Hawaii. <sighs> you can't convince Hawaii nothing that ain't real and ain't true. Hawaii knows your heart, Bo. A lot of Christians use that. Hawaii knows my heart. The creator knows my heart. God knows my heart. Man. Yeah, God. <laughs> yo, yo, God do know your heart. The creator definitely knows your heart. Why knows if the Shabbat is in you? Why knows if the code is in you? And a lot of Nagas talk code, talk KTC, talk drop nation. Man. But the code ain't Anna. It's the fourth quarter, man. We keeping it trillin' right here. I ain't gotta be your car. I could be your eye. Or I could just be somebody you witness. But if I'm your kind, then my Naga KTC is Mando. Resting on our Shabbat is Mando. Tribing up the right way with the real ones. The real ones means that you are about reality. And our code is for reality, is for life, is to live. 
not for the matrix of looking Indian or looking Israelite. Walking around in Israelite garb, talking about in the name of JC, Yahweh Shai, in the name of some fallen false idol, some Zeus remake that's being Hebrewized, Hebraic Zeus, Yahweh Shai. Man, you talking Joshua, you talking Hawashua that led you to the promised land under Moshe. If you ain't talking that Joshua that fought the giants, the Canaanites and anything else to get you there, to get you to your towel, your cross, your mark, your sign. If you ain't talking that Hawashua, you talking JC, where did he lead you? Where did he take you? What war did he fight, my naga? What war did that naga super nigga fight? Super nigga. Super nigga ain't fought no war for you. Super nigga ain't did nothing for you. Oh, he died for my sin. Then why is your ass still getting hit up over the top of the head bone, still lynched, still massacred? You still paying for your own transgression. The wife said, you gonna pay for your sins. No more sacrifices. I don't even want you killing animals, man. It's all on your neck bone at this point. I ain't even talking to you no more. You want to talk to Hawaii, but pop off on the Shabbat? Man, you calm few. We KTC. I ain't got to be your kind. But you're going to witness, my life. And if you surfing the wave, the water is surfing the wave with me. Because I'm surfing the wave with you. 2 Samuel 23. Let's pop off. Tanakh only session. Shabbat Shalom to the cold keepers. And Ahab to the 500 cold keeping Nagas. That make sure we hit our mark every single time. Because wherever you are, you always got a dub on it. You always got a dub on it for the Nagas. To build for the Nagas. To reel up in real time and battle time. 500 cold keepers I got a dub on it That's 10 racks Every single time With unity in the code We can do anything We can do everything Allah Allah Let's get it We just popping off They just tuning in My Nagas wanna Fake Israelite look like the part, but not being cold, still got their idols in the name of JC. In the name of Zeus, I say this. In the name of, in the name of, in the name of who? Hawa is your only savior. You want to talk Isaiah? Managa, Hawa is your only savior. Isaiah 43. It can't be in the name of no one else. You can't go directly to nobody else but your framer, shaper, your maker. Any other road leads to hijack city. You gotta see clearly. It don't matter where you at. It matters who, who you are, my nugget. What you doing? Your actions determine who you are. The code you keep determines who you are, my life. You could be wherever you are on the earth plane, but the code you keep always connects you to Ama Abba. Or secure breath, man. Don't you want secure breath or are you still playing? You want to play tribe? You want to look like an Indian? Where's your swords, my naga? Last time that I checked, the Swan Knights are from here. Y'all in that play play, man. It's the fourth quarter.
Indian tribes playing house. Black Indian tribes. Look at us. I'm a this. I'm a that. Look at our Indian heritage. Where's your code? Oh, we love the great spirit. Where's your code? We come in peace. Well, where were you when we needed you? We the this, we the that. Where were you when we needed you? But we black Indians. <laughs> Let's pop off on Shabbat. Let's sell our things. Come on, man. We Hebrew black Israelites, look at our garb. Look at our garments. Where's your code in the name of JC? Damn. Yeshua, Yahusha. Gotta, gotta love that. Without him, there's nothing else. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Christians, cut it out, man. Cut this stuff out. Your mother is more than your Holy Spirit. She is your breath, man. Holy Spirit. That's your Ruach. It's the wave you're swimming in. Come on, man. <laughs> I love my creator. And the Holy Spirit. Why are you separating? Who taught you to separate Ama and Abba? Who, who taught you to separate your creator and that Ruach and that breath? So the creator is a man and the Holy Spirit is a woman. And that's how you separate it? Who created you? My sisters, who created you? Were you created by a man? <laughs> Did a man create you, sister? Or were you framed and shaped by Ama Abba? Do you have breath, my queen? Oh, so you got mama. But your father is the creator. And your mama's the Holy Spirit. Your Ama Abba created you. You've been framed and shaped. They are one. They are our creator because they are one drop like any house. Like any house should be. This is your model house. This is what we model our home. You should be one. Does that man create that child? Sister? <laughs> I know you're going to say Excuse me, I carried that baby for 12 months. <laughs> All right then. That child was framed in shape with Ama Abba. You were framed in shape with Ama Abba. That is your creator. You don't have to separate your mama out the creator category when she is the first thing created. According to Proverbs 8. He, she's the first of his creations, according to Proverbs 8. Did he open up the door for Amma to pop off? Did he create Mama? Or is Mama already a part of the flow of the energy, of the frequency, of the spark? And that's how it's being translated by the translators. <laughs> you got to think deeper. You got to get into energy and frequency. <laughs> Your Ama already exists. Your Abba, the frequency and the energy, you already exist. You are framed and you are shaped. You have both polarities, my naga. That's why you popping off copper cons. You don't have to separate things like Christians. Oh, the Holy Spirit. Do do do. <laughs> Come on, when you say Ruach, you can't even do that no more. You say Ruach, you're like, oh, that is Hawa. Yeah, that's your breath. That's your security. Bang. Hit the easy button, bread. Is that simple. I'm 
about to get back into the Preston series. Get ready for it. Y'all ready? Hey, are y'all ready for the Preston investigation to pop off? We're picking it up right here at 71, my not. We've done 71 installments. <laughs> it's been a long years and years of years of recon. Love to the Ether Squad. Love to Drive Nation out here. Providing all these great links and books and everything you've done to contribute to the Preston John investigation. We got to continue to search for Hawa and King David according to Hosea 3 verse 5. Christians ignore this. Right? Don't search for Hawa and King David. But if it said Hawa and JC, it will be on every bumper sticker in America. But it says Hawa and David so they don't talk about it. Hush, hush. But you don't go through David to get to Hawa. <laughs> you search for Hawa first, which means you keep the code that you seeking within yourself, the creator. Then you activate your investigation for the Preston Monogam. And that's the con in you coming out. That's that Memsos. So you KTC, search for Hawa directly, M-H-O-E Most High over everything Then With Kandawi You get that fountain of youth Right you get that mem sauce Kan Kan So it's opposite Everything is opposite to the Christians And the Christianites Niggas on the corner looking like Israelites Hey some are KTC I ain't saying everybody but a lot of them on that Yahweh Shai, Yeshua, Jesus drop, JC drop. Come on, bro. You, you calling on Greek gods in the fourth quarter? You calling on Greek gods in the fourth quarter? Trying to get somewhere else other than the promised land that you are in? Why you think everybody want to be over here? <laughs> Come on, man. You got the most desired land on earth. But you want Nagas to be somewhere else. Why? Because this goes to the hijack. You leave, the hijack gains everything. All your mind, all that gold, their mind, they love to copy color creation. All them ores, <laughs> gold rushes, promised land, my Nagas. You cray cray. You cray cray for leaving this place. You cray cray for loving any other place more than the land that is designed for you. Which makes you indigenous to it. Because it's designed for you. you know, we, back, we back on our dial. We flow. Let's pop off like this right here in 2 Samuel 23. Let's get it. Now these are the last words of David. Let's go. We're talking Presta, Priest King, Condom. The saying of David, the son of Jesse. Remember Jesse, Yeshai. Yeshai is a sinless man. Look it up. The four sinless men who died without sin. So David is from the stock of a sinless man, a transgression. That means he always was KTC. That's Yeshai. Yeshai bears David. So David came from the stock of righteousness. And the saying of the man raised on high, the anointed of the power of Jacob and the sweet singer of Israel, the spirit of Hawah spoke by me and his word was upon my tongue. The power of Israel said, the rock of Israel spoke to me, ruler over men shall be the righteous, even he that rules in the fear of Hawah. And as the light of the morning, when the sun rise, rises, a morning without clouds, when through clear shining after rain, the tender grass springs out of the earth. For it is not my house established, is not my house established by Hawa. Look at this beautiful day. Is not my house established by Hawa. For an everlasting covenant he has made with me. Man, these are David's last words. <laughs> the, 
power of Israel said, verse 3, the rock of Israel spoke to me. Back it up, man. For the duplex. This is Tanakh only session. Better get your ego out the way. It's gonna eat you alive. You better know when to follow. You better know who to follow if they leading you to KTC, my knight. Yeah. Better get off that play play within yourself. Cause you about to miss a Yapa wave playing with Hawaii like this. This is freedom we're talking about. You want to be free from this captivity. You looking at this like, oh, I got to rest on Shabbat. I'm so bounded. You want that? Or you want to be bounded by the hijack in this captivity? You want needles in your arm all day? You want guillotines? You want to be led by this hijack? Or do you want to follow the law, the code, the statutes of Hawa? We start with Exodus 20 for a reason. Because Nagas seem to not be able to get this straight. Still putting a power for the power. Still got their idols. Still bound down worshiping them. Still saying in the name of Jace, in the name of JC. Can't even say it, man. Still killing, still smoking on that pack, smoking on this pack. Still stealing from each other. Come on, still covetous. Want each other's stuff. Social media got everybody covetous. Oh, I want followers like such and such. Oh, such and such must think they got, you know, they must think they the shit because they got this and that. And you just cover this in your heart. Just cover this noggins, man. You see why we KTC? Don't talk to me about beard and fringes. We can't even do this. Don't talk to me about all this other stuff. Sacrifices and killing lambs. Don't. How dare you? We still got to deal with this. Bearing false witness on each other all day. Murmuring. Just talking shit. Just talking shit. Not honoring your frame and your shaper, man. Vanity all day. We still dealing with this. Adultery all day. We out of code, noggins, right? And shout out to my 500 code keeping families. Because we can start right there. Right, right here with us, man. You know, we can build a nation. For a while. Wow. Hey, I'll start from scratch over and over again until I get it right. That's the type of naga I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't get stuck in one place with one thing. And, you know, if it ain't flowing, I'll continue to start over, man, until it starts with the right foundation. This is what we've been doing all these years. Sometimes we had to reboot to keep going, take a step back, to take a step forward. A minor setback for a major comeback, my naga, because we still popping off. We in the fourth quarter. Can't stop the drop. You confused about structure now? Or you want that type of structure? <laughs> Look up the definition of structure and realize it's the wave you swimming in. Oh, you too stressed out to keep Shabbat? You in the Maccabee flow? You got Nagas at war with you specifically on the Shabbat? Putting you in fried pan? But my Naga, you need to get out of virtual reality. You know what I'm saying? You got plenty of opportunity to rest on Shabbat. You're just making excuses, and that's blasphemy. Bunch of out of cold noggers knocking on my front door in the house Hawaii built. Sometimes I gotta fall back and just do me. You know what I'm saying? It's just so much out of coldness. I just gotta, you know. Find the code within me, you know what I'm saying? Continue to 
you know, see what's out there within myself, you know what I mean? Because I can't be all outside of myself all day because it's just so much hijack, so much of this frequency. And a lot of us feel like that. But that's why we got each other. That's what the code keep is all about. Let's get a little more. David's last words. So the saying of David, the son of Jesse, all right. The Ruach of Hawa spoke by me, and his word was upon my tongue. Hawa said, The rock of Israel spoke to me, ruler over men, verse 3, shall be the righteous, even he that rules in the fear of Hawa, and as the light of the morning, when the sun rises, a morning without clouds. Beautiful day, right? When through clear shining after rain, the tender grass springs out of the earth, for it for is not my house established with Hawa, for an everlasting covenant he has made with me, order in all things and sure for all of my salvation and all of my desire. Will he not make it grow? Will we not pop off when we KTC? But the ungodly, out of cold noggins that still can't get it in the fourth quarter, they are as thorns thrust away, all of them, for they cannot be taken with the hand, but the man that touched them must be armed with iron and the staff of a spear, and they shall be utterly burned with fire in their place. These are the names of the mighty men whom David had, Josheb ba Shabeth, a uh, Tachemanite, chief of the captains. The saying was Adeno, Esnite. He lifted up his spear against 800 who he slew at one time. Managa, these are mighty men. And after him, Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the son of the Ahohite, one of three mighty men with David when they jeopardized their life against the Philistines that they were there gathered together in battle. And the men of Israel were gone away. See, Dawi went to war for you, man. These are mighty men of Dawi. You want structure to where you got the chief of captains and the yada yada this, man. You better be KTC first or else all that stuff is vanity. All your structure you want is for vanity. We're dealing on cold keeping noggins. We just building a fence right now. Don't come over here asking about structure. You walk in the house, you walk in the house and ask about structure. It's the house you are standing in, my naga. It takes structure to build structure. And we popping off for joy work. You want structure, start with the code within yourself. And truly meditate on it. And don't think you there already. Because that's blasphemy and that's vanity. You want to be there already, but you got a long way to go. Frequency is everything. You can't hide it. You can't assume your way out of it. You can't smart your way out of it. You can't manipulate your way around it. We're too smart for that. And most of all, we encode. So your frequency, we feel it a mile away. The shysters, we feel you a mile away. The hijacks, we feel you a mile away. Don't think we don't see you. Because we, you know, let you in a little close sometimes just to figure you out. Make sure we're making a, you know, right assessment. Don't get too cozy over here, man. This ain't about friendship. This is about encode noggins doing the right thing because it don't matter about friendship. That's vanity when it comes to KTC and being in the right place and the right frequency for our career. That's what it's about. That's what every day is about. Every breath is about. Not about looking like an Indian or looking like an Israelite, but having the code in your heart bone. Back to Jeremiah 31. We end code knockers. And this is to knock only sessions. We're contract. Allow why? 500 cold keeping knockers.
We did it again. Triba. Keep the code. <laughs> or you'll be out the game. Stay up, my knockers. Shallow one. For Joy World.